The future for former FCI Dublin warden Ray Garcia is in the hands of a jury. Closing arguments wrapped up today. Prosecutors reiterated that Garcia used his power to abuse women who were jailed there. But Garcia's attorney calls this a classic she said, he said case. Chris, KTV's Christina Rendon has more now from federal court. He was a fox guarding a hen house. That's how federal prosecutors described Ray Garcia's power during his time as warden at FCI Dublin. They spent an hour walking the jury through each of the eight counts he's charged with, saying Garcia followed a calculated and perverse pattern when he sexually abused and made sexual contact with women jailed at the prison between 2019 and 2021. They say Garcia thought he was above the law and never counted on the women coming forward to testify. I think he might be found guilty. Tess Korth, a former FCI Dublin guard and whistleblower, says one of the witnesses made it clear that what Garcia did was wrong. Lieutenant Stephen Putnam, head of special investigations at FCI Dublin, says it is not standard practice to take pictures of an inmate naked on all fours inside of a cell to document wrongdoing, something Garcia is accused of doing. Putnam denied being close friends with Garcia in the 20 years they worked together. Putnam did a good job shooting down the story that uh, we, that Bureau and correctional officers at Dublin have to take photos of naked people, naked inmates, to prove indecent exposure, that kind of thing. We do not. Garcia's attorney opened closing arguments to the jury, calling his client not guilty on each count. He tried to poke holes in the prosecution's argument, saying there's no video of Garcia engaging in abuse. And the attorney says the women are criminals who, quote, jumped on the bandwagon to testify against him, either to have their sentences reduced or to avoid deportation. Quote, who would you believe, he said, this 32-year-old law enforcement officer with an impeccable record? or a convicted felon. I want people to understand that it's not just the warden. Uh, he's been around a long time. He's, he was one of the golden boys of the Bureau, but there's people up on top that know about it, that this happens a lot and it just gets covered. You know, they just cover it up. Regardless of the verdict, former FCI Dublin guard Korth wants the case to stay in the spotlight. I don't want it to just go away quietly. If Garcia is convicted on all counts, he faces up to 61 years in prison. In Oakland, Christina Rondone, KTVU, Fox 2 News.